Hello everyone, it's Chantal from Crow Chantal, and welcome to this tutorial on how to crochet a reversible chick easter egg. I will be going over in detail how to make the eggs on the left and in the middle, and I will give basic instructions on how to make a striped egg as seen on the right. So the materials that you'll need include a 5mm crochet hook, a stitch marker, I personally use a bobby pin, a darning or sewing needle, some scissors, 12 millimeter safety eyes, orange super bulky yarn, yellow super bulky yarn, and up to four additional colors in super bulky yarn. And the terminology that you will need to understand includes a magic ring, single crochet, increase, decrease, chain, double crochet, slip stitch, and fastening off. We are going to start with a zigzag easter egg pattern. To make this, you will need two different yarn colors. I have chosen pink to be my base color. To start, create a magic ring, and for round one, do six single crochets into the magic ring. And this is what your work should look like. For round two, we are simply going to do six increases around. By the end of the row, you should have a total of 12 stitches. For the next row, we are going to increase to 18 stitches around. To do this, we will do a single crochet and then an increase for a total of 6 times. At the end of the row, you will color change to your secondary color. I have chosen purple for my secondary color. Once you have completed the color change, get started on your next row. For this row, we will be increasing to 24 stitches around. To do that, simply do two single crochets and then an increase for a total of six times. This is what your work should look like. At the end of the row, you will once again color change and you will go back to your main egg color. And then for this next row, we will simply single crochet around. You should have a total of 24 stitches by the end of the row. And this is what your work should look like. For this next row, we are going to do one single crochet in our main color, and then we are going to color change to our secondary color. You will then do one single crochet in your secondary color and color change back to your main color. You are then going to do three single crochets and then color change back to your secondary color. You will repeat the process of doing one single crochet with your secondary color and three single crochets with your main color for a total of five times.
Once you have completed the five repetitions, you will color change to your secondary color and do one single crochet, then color change back to your primary color and do two single crochets to finish the row. And then once again, color change to your secondary color. For the next round, we will simply follow the pattern of doing three single crochets of the secondary color and then one single crochet of the primary color for a total of six times. And then at the end of the row, color change to your secondary color. For the next row, we are going to do one single crochet with our secondary color. And then for a total of five times, we will do one single crochet with our main color and then three single crochets with our secondary color. So that is one single crochet of the main color and three single crochets of the secondary color for a total of five times. Once you have completed that, you will do one single crochet in your primary color and then do two single crochets in your secondary color. And then at the end of the row, color change back to your primary color. This will be the last row of the zigzag. We will repeat the pattern of doing three single crochets with the primary color and then one single crochet of the secondary color for a total of six times. And this is what your zigzag should look like. At the end of the row, color change back to your primary color. For this next row, we will simply single crochet around for a total of 24 stitches. And then at the end of the row, color change to your secondary color and once again, simply single crochet around for a total of 24 stitches. At the end of the row, once again, color change back to your primary color and this will be the last row of the egg. And we will be decreasing to 18 stitches. To do that, we will do two single crochets and then a decrease for a total of six times.
and this is what your egg should look like. At the end of the row, you should color change to your yellow yarn to make the chick. Go to the timestamp on the screen for the chick instructions. These are the instructions on how to make the spiral striped Easter egg. You will once again need only two colors. I will be using pink and blue. You will start off with a magic ring. And then do one single crochet in pink. I will be using the term pink and blue instead of primary and secondary for this egg. After your first pink single crochet, color change to blue and do another single crochet into the magic ring. You will then color change to pink and do a single crochet. Then once again, color change to blue. Repeat this process until you have six stitches around. At the end of the row, be sure to color change back to pink. And this is what your work should look like. For round two, we are going to do six increases around. To do that, we will do one increase in pink and then one increase in blue for a total of three times around. Being sure to only work pink single crochets into the pink stitches below and the same for the blue. And this is what your work should look like. It should resemble a peppermint. For this next row, we are going to increase to 18 stitches around. To do that, we will do a single crochet and then an increase in pink, and then a single crochet and increase in blue for a total of three times. Once again, being sure to only work pink single crochets into pink stitches and blue single crochets into blue stitches. And this is what your work should look like. We are now going to do the last row of increases and we will be increasing to 24 stitches around. To do this, we will do two single crochets and then an increase in pink and then two single crochets and an increase in blue for a total of three times around. I am now going to go off camera and do the next seven rounds of single crochet. You'll simply repeat the pattern of doing four pink single crochets, and then four blue single crochets, three times for each round. And this is what your work should look like. For the last row, we are going to decrease to 18 stitches around. To do that, we will do two single crochets and then a decrease in pink and then two single crochets and then a decrease in blue for a total of three times. Remembering to only work pink single crochets into pink stitches and the same for the blue.
And then, once again, at the end of the row, you are going to color change to yellow and go to the timestamp on the screen to create your chick portion. And then, for the striped egg pattern, you will simply follow the instructions on the screen. And then, if you would like to replicate mine, do rows 1 to 3 in yellow, 4 to 6 in pink, 7 to 9 in purple, and 10 to 12 in blue. Feel free to do any variation of stripes you would like. Welcome to the chick portion of the instructions. For the first round of the chick, we will simply single crochet around for a total of 18 stitches. And this is what your work should look like. For the next row, we are going to increase to 24 stitches around. To do that, you will do two single crochets and then an increase for a total of six times. And this is what your work should look like. I will now go off camera and do the next three rows where I will simply be doing single crochets around. And this is what your work should look like once you have completed that. For the next row, we are going to start off by doing six single crochets. Once you have completed the six single crochets, we are going to work on the wing. To do that, do six chains, and then starting in the third chain from the hook, do a double crochet. Do a double crochet in the next three chains down. By the end, you should have a total of four double crochets. Once you have completed the wing, you are then going to do 12 single crochets. And you will then do another wing. So remember that is six chains and then starting in the third chain from the hook, doing four double crochets down the chain. To finish off, you will then do six more single crochets. And then off camera, I am going to do two rows of single crochets around, totaling 24 stitches per row. And this is what it should look like. We are now going to start decreasing. We are first going to decrease to 18 stitches around. To do that, we will do two single crochets and then a decrease for a total of six times. We are now going to insert the safety eyes. Taking your 12 millimeter safety eyes, Insert the eyes between rows 19 and 20. The eyes should be six stitches apart and approximately three stitches away from each wing. Put the backings on your safety eyes and this is what it should look like. We are once again going to continue decreasing. For this next row, we are going to do a single crochet and then a decrease for a total of six times. 
By the end of the row, you should have 12 stitches. For our last row of decreasing, we are going to do six decreases around to have a total of six stitches by the end of the row. Fasten off, slip stitch into the next stitch, and cut a tail. Then, taking your darning needle, weave the yarn through the front loops only of the remaining six stitches, and pull the opening tight to close, and tie a knot. To finish, weave in your ends. And this is what your chick should look like so far. Our last detail will be adding the beak. So taking your orange super bulky yarn between rows 19 and 20 evenly spaced between the eyes, sew a beak across two stitches. Once you have finished this, tie a knot and weave in your ends. And this is what your finished chick should look like. To fold it and make it reversible, pinch along the seam between the egg and the chick and push the egg into the chick. It may take a while for the first flip but once you use it more often, the reversing process should become easier. And this is what your chick should look like. You should be able to reverse it to see your egg design. I have all of the egg designs here and I'm going to showcase reversing each of them. Thank you so much for watching my video, and I hope you enjoyed this Easter themed pattern. Feel free to even make a solid colored egg or an egg that has up to 12 stripes around. Please tag me on Instagram if you end up making your own, and comment down below which colors you'd like to use for your egg and subscribe for more free patterns.